is my first official video upload on YouTube where I'm speaking directly into the camera. I'm still trying to get comfortable in front of the camera, so be nice, please. Please be nice. I am a four-year natural. Um, my last relaxer was February 2011. It is now June 2015. Prior to 2011, I was text laxed from 2009 to 2011. And prior to that, I was natural from 2001 to 2008. 2001 to 2009. Whatever date that I decided to go back to chemically processed hair. I don't regret it. That is one of the things I want to talk about on this channel. I want to talk about healthy hair care in general, no matter how you choose to wear your hair. To unify the conversation that we're having these days about our hair care because the information is so abundant these days. Um, we didn't have that back in 2001 up until social media hit the scene. How those of us, we had fought key albums and uh, message board memberships. For those of you who are younger or new to um, the internet scene as far as hair care and the discussion, there was no video. All we had were pictures and, and words on the screen, which I, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade it for the world. I don't regret any of the information I learned on members on websites, um, message boards, beautiful, beautiful unification of conversations and women just talking about this thing um, the only way we could. So that being said, I also want to talk about how um, learning how to take care of my hair led me into learning how to take care of my body better and then uh, later learning how to take care of my mind better. Um, I have an, a, a kind of a baby blog spot right now. Um, I've changed the name, well, not really changed the name. Um, my blog that I started back in 09 was simpletresses.blogspot.com. Now I have a new blog spot on that same blog um, where I've named it hairhealthhappy.com. So feel free to go over there and take a peek at it if you'd like. I said it's still in the baby stages, so be nice. Um, I came to you this morning because, number one, my four-year-old isn't running around. I'll be getting ready for work. I want to talk about on this channel um, also in regard to those of us who have really busy lives and we don't have a lot of time to do a lot of things to our hair. This is my signature set. Um, I do this um, maybe two or three times a week. It takes me no time to do it all but that's another video where I'll talk about that and I'll do my best to film it. I came to you with this set because this is how I set my hair on a regular basis. I am currently um, water only washing. I don't use anything except water to rinse my hair and my scalp and I do use coconut oil on the ends but once again that's another video that I hope to be able to bring to you all and talk about. But My hair is in seven twists right now. I have two flat twists in the front, one on this side one on this side and then these twists that you see are finger detangled free twists free two strand twists finger detangling has changed my life <laughs> but again that's another video but I wanted to show you guys how I wear my hair set on a regular basis that's how I set my hair for when I'm getting up and going to work when I take this down it'll be this really fluffy stretched out. Um, it stretches out your natural curl pattern. Um, natural 85, this is her, this is her, is her technique from the winter wash and go video that she filmed some years ago. And ever since I found that video, it has changed my natural hair care journey. I mean, it, it completely just, it was like Eureka when I found that video. I hope to be able to film how I do my hair on a regular basis, how this is not considered a twist out um, that Natural 85 also stated in her video and on her blog. And I just want to talk to you guys, get your questions, try to answer them. I'd love to hear your comments if you um, are a busy woman and get it out of your way so you can still be presentable when you're getting ready for that nine to five or you have small children or a spouse and you have a lot on your plate. All of us want healthy hair. Hair is something that is going to be with us forever. Whether you choose to wear it long, short, chemically processed, natural, if you are choosing to wear it in a certain style versus something that's easier to take care of, like this is easy for me. You have to find what works for you. Can wear our hair long necessarily for our lifestyle. A lot of us can't wear our hair short regarding our lifestyle. Um, you can't get to the barber very often or 
whatever. I just want to unify the conversation in regard to hair care in general. Um, that right now, I think everybody's kind of excited about natural hair because it's hot. It's hot right now. Um, but as we all know, trends do come and go. And I wrote on my blog, Simple Tresses, maybe a year ago. I can't remember the date I uploaded it, but um, the title was something like everyone or the reality is everyone won't stay natural and that's okay it's really long feel free to read it if you have some time it's my experience um, in regard to seeing people go natural get frustrated go relaxed get frustrated and they're just bouncing back and forth and they're always frustrated about their hair the the actual blog posting doesn't say that in particular but it's just talking about how everybody won't say stay natural that's just the way it is and you don't have to you have to find what works for you um i have a friend who is tech slax and i hope to be able to bring her to this channel maybe do an interview or something with her just to talk about her experience her lifestyle what works for her um i have another friend who is natural and she just recently um found her eureka with her wash and go and just the enthusiasm on her face is it's just it's genuine and it makes you understand that once you got it, you got it. Um, those of us who have been relaxed a big portion of our lives, um, we can't expect to know what to do with our natural hair or the different way we've learned how to take care of our hair in five minutes. And I think that's um, another thing I want to kind of get rid of um, in the healthy hair care conversation. You've got to give yourself some time. You have to get in your own head. You can't go to a salon every week and expect to know what to do with your hair if there's an emergency or um, you can't get to the salon. Um, I've heard those stories as well. Um, people have on uh, a beret or something at work and it's like, what's going on with you today? And it's like, oh, I couldn't get to my hairdresser. You got to you gotta be able to do your hair at home sometime. Well, um, I want to kind of squash this whole team natural versus team relaxed thing um don't get me wrong i was a natural nazi in the beginning i wanted everybody to be natural i was like why would you put the creamy crack in your hair i, I did it all and that was that was back in 2002 2003 2004 um and uh, i think those who are newly natural or newly tech slaxed or whatever I think we tend to be very excited about it and we want to spread the word which is good but we have to remember that everybody is not on the same path or the same journey as we are some of us are not on a journey at all <laughs> in regard to hair care and that's why we're still stuck in the old way of thinking our hair doesn't grow our hair will never be healthy i have bad hair she has good hair we've got a we've got my camera died and the four-year-old woke up sorry about that but anyway, I was doing enough rambling in the first place. I'm going to go get dressed for work, and then I'm going to come back, and I think I'm going to be able to go ahead and film the takedown of these twists to show you all how I wear my hair on a daily basis. So, be right back. All right, I'm in my bathroom now. I'm dressed for work, and I'm getting ready to take these twists down so you all can see what it looks like after I take them down. So, here we go.
That's how I wear my hair on a regular basis. As you can see, I didn't have to take the flat twist down in the front because the hair just kind of falls on top. Same as this side. The hair just kind of flops forward and you can fluff, the, fluff this out, make it as big or as compacted as you want. But this is my go-to style. This is the style I wear all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, welcome to my channel. And I hope to bring you guys more. Talk to you later. Bye. I got to film this part just to show y'all that I do go to work pretty barefaced. Um, when I do wear any kind of makeup, it's usually a little lip stain, um, maybe a little bit of brow powder some mascara and rarely any powder or foundation but occasionally I do wear like a light dusting across my face so that's it and that's all see you guys next time